Hello, everybody, and welcome to the English lesson. This is an English lesson for the first grade of high school students. My name is Miranda, and I will be your English teacher today. As you can see, we are still dealing with the topic of fashion. The title of today's lesson is Fashion Industry. In today's lesson, you will listen and analyze the text about fashion industry and its impact on the environment and people's life. You will learn the difference between fast and sustainable fashion. You will do research on the transparency of your favorite fashion brand, addressing issues on its ethical, economic and environmental impacts, and finally, you will make a speech on the same topic. For this lesson, you will need a notebook, something to write with, and a device with internet access. Feel free to pause the video whenever you need to write down something or whenever you need to check something. Well, garment production has gone global. Clothes have become cheaper and our wardrobes have become bigger. We simply like to shop and stay on trend, don't we? While our obsession with fashion and shopping might ensure the perfect outfit for every occasion, it might also mean overstuffed wardrobes, piles of unused clothes, and a huge impact on the environment. How trend sensitive are you? How eco friendly is your wardrobe? Take the quiz to find out. For each statement, select true or false. I buy new clothes often, even if I don't need them. Write down in your notebooks if the sentence is true or false. The next statement is, I read fashion news regularly and try to keep my wardrobe up to date. True or false? I don't wear everything I buy. Some of the items in my wardrobe still have the tags on them. True or false? When making a buying decision, Quantity affects me more than quality. I buy a bunch of less expensive items to wear each season rather than a few key pieces of clothing. True or false? I do most of my shopping in stores rather than online. True or false? I never buy secondhand or vintage clothes. True or false? If you don't know the difference between secondhand and vintage clothes, secondhand is uh, every item of clothing that has been at some point owned and worn by someone else. Basically, everything you purchase that has had an owner before is secondhand. On the other hand, Vintage refers to secondhand clothes that, even though have been uh, produced a while ago, um, still have a good quality and can be worn. Okay, so try to decide whether this statement is true or false for you. The next one, I don't have any hand-me-downs in my wardrobe. Hand-me-downs um it's pieces that i that you have received from your family or relatives true or false and the last statement i rarely donate or recycle the clothes i no longer want i usually throw them away true or false if your answers are mostly false you're on the right track and you will probably enjoy today's lesson. If your answers are mostly true, it's time for you to learn how to lower the environmental impact of your shopping habits. Let's make your wardrobe eco-friendly together. 
buying clothes and only wearing them a few times before buying more clothes is something known as fast fashion. What do we know about the fashion industry and how did fast fashion happen? Over the last few centuries, as the world has changed, our relationship to, clo to clothes has dramatically changed too. From an era when clothing was bespoke or tailor-made for each individual, to the ready-to-wear era where pre-made clothing came in standardized sizing. And the current era of fast fashion. Clothes that are made and sold cheaply so that people can buy new clothes often. Cheap, trendy clothes that are very quickly coming in and out of style. What makes fast fashion so popular and successful? Let's see. Fast fashion has become popular because it is a response to a huge market of consumers that are demanding. First, there is a so-called vertical integration. Fast fashion company does it all in-house from design and manufacturing and selling clothes. It helps optimize cost and production. Fast fashion is all about feedback. Designers receive data on what sells and what doesn't sell on a daily basis. Fast fashion brands are constantly hunting for new trends. They use advertising a lot. They often conduct field research on what's trendy and it's pretty much by going out and seeing what people are wearing in the street. In fast fashion, the emphasis is on fast. The time it takes to make clothing is now a fraction of what it once was. And finally, it's cheap. It means rapid mass production, low quality materials in order to bring inexpensive styles to the public, quick manufacturing at an affordable price. But can it be that cheap to make, transport and advertise clothes? Of course that it can't. There are huge humanitarian and environmental costs that are hidden in an inexpensive price tag. And now you will watch a short video about fast fashion. The video is called The Problem with Fast Fashion. So you can type the link in the, in the internet browser or you can go directly to the second link and do the worksheet because the video is embedded in the worksheet so it will be easier for you to do exercises. There are two exercises. The first one is to match questions with the answers and the second one is to decide whether the statements are true or false. So you can pause the video now and do the worksheet. Watch the video and then do the worksheet. Okay, pause the video and have fun. Okay, so basically there are two exercises. Uh, in the first exercise, uh, you have to match the questions with the answers. And in the second one, you have to um, you have to write whether the you have to decide whether the statements are true or false. Okay, so let's start with the first with the first one. How many pieces of new clothing does the world consume each year? The answer is eighty billion. Okay, the next one, how much money does the fashion industry bring in globally each year? Bring in globally each year. It's 1.2 trillion dollars. 
How much profit comes from the US alone? $250 billion. How many times do we wear fast fashion garments? On average, less than five times. How long do we keep fast fashion garments on average? Uh, let's scroll down to see more answers. Okay, here it is. For 35 days. When did the clothing prices drop? They actually dropped uh, somewhere, in, somewhere in the early 1900s. How many years does it take for polyester to break down? It takes hundreds of years, unfortunately. How many trees are logged every year and turned into fabrics? 70 million. The answer is 70 million. And the last question, how much textile waste does the average American generate every year? And the answer is 82 pounds, 82 pounds, okay. Let's do the next exercise. So are the sentences true or false? The first sentence is people buy a lot of clothes they do not need. That's definitely true. The second one, fast fashion clothes are cheap and don't look like designer clothes. That's false because they do everything to look like designer clothes. So the second statement is false. Let's see the third one. Clothes in the developed world have become cheaper because they are produced in developing countries. Exactly, because of cheap labor. Mm -hmm. And the next one. Factory workers in developing countries are paid a living wage, which is false. Garment companies in developed countries increase profits by using cheap and child cheap labor and child labor. Unfortunately, that's true. The clothing industry is the second highest polluter of clean water. True. Cotton is the most commonly used fiber in our clothing. No, that's not true. The most commonly used fiber is polyester. And fossil fuels are used to produce the fabric. Polyester is true. The global cotton industry poisons farmers and contaminates drinking water by using pesticides, which is true. Most clothes are either recycled or donated so they don't end up in landfills is false because they eventually end up in landfills. Okay, let's move on. I hope that you liked it. Well, fast fashion is not going anywhere anytime soon. The shift in consumer education is happening more and more and brands are noticing and adapting. The solution to fast fashion is sustainable fashion. Fashion that is fully transparent in all aspects of its supply chain. And the supply, supply chain is the system of people and things that are involved in getting a product from the place where it is made to the person who buys it. Being sustainable means being ethical, economic and environmental. Being ethical means that the workers who are producing clothes are being paid a fair living wage and they are working in a safe environment and not in poor or dangerous conditions. This involves not only health and well-being of workers, but also animal welfare, making sure that products are cruelty-free, which means that there is no cruel treatment of animals. Being economic means that they are producing locally and that they are encouraging economic growth locally in their countries. 
and being environmental means that they are not polluting water with their chemical dyeing process. They are not using synthetic material but organic. They are organic certified. They are upcycling materials. What does upcycling mean? Upcycling is a term coined recently, also known as creative recycling, because in upcycling objects are used by means of creativity to create products that have a higher value than the original objects. For example, the designers can take previously used fishing nets and rework them into a new fabric. As opposed to upcycling, downcycling means to use waste material or old or used objects to make a product of lower value than the original material or object. For example, when clothes become mattress filling. And we already know the meaning of the word recycle. It means to sort and collect rubbish in order to treat it and produce useful materials that can be used again. So now you know all three words, all three verbs to upcycle, downcycle, and recycle. We are clearly throwing away too many clothes, but perhaps we can recycle some of the vocabulary we have learned today. Okay, let's begin with downcycle. Downcycle means to use base material or old or used objects to make a product of lower value than the original material or object. Developing countries mean Developing countries are countries with little industrial and economic activity and where people generally have low incomes. Pesticide, a chemical substance used to kill harmful insects, small animals, wild plants or other unwanted organisms. Upcycle. Upcycle means to use waste material or old or used objects to make product, products that have a higher value than the original object. Textile waste. Textile waste is the material that becomes unusable or worthless after the end of the production process of any textile product. Mass production is the process of producing a lot of goods cheaply using machines in factory. Disposable means intended to be thrown away after use. Cheap labor is labor paid at a poor rate. Child labor, employment of children of less than legally than a legally specified age. Supply chain is a system of people and things that are involved in getting a product from the place where it is made to the person who buys it. Living age is enough money to buy the things that are necessary in order to live, such as food and clothes. And landfill. Landfill is a place where rubbish is buried. Okay, let's move on. What is the fashion revolution? You will watch a short video about the fashion revolution. You need to type the link in the internet browser, but before you watch the film, I would like you to check two words that you might not know. The first one is the outskirts. Uh, the outskirts, um, is the areas that form the edge of a town or a city. And the second word is CEO or chief executive officer is the person with the most important position in a company. After watching the video, 
Do the missing words exercise to check comprehension. There is the link that you will need to type in the internet browser. We'll check the exercise together a little bit later. So pause the video, watch the film and do the missing words exercise. Okay, now we can check together. Fashion Revolution was born in April in 2013 when the Rana Plaza, an eight-story factory complex on the outskirts, exactly, on the outskirts of Dhaka, Bangladesh, collapsed, killing 1,138 workers and injuring 2,500. It is a global movement aimed at bringing people and organizations together to radically change the way our clothes are sourced, produced and consumed. Today there are about 40 million garment workers in the world and 34 million are women. It takes just four days for a CEO from one of the top five global fashion brands to earn what a Bangladeshi garment worker will earn in her lifetime. The brands have become aware that consumers have a right to know who makes their clothes and that what they put on their bodies is made in dignity and not in misery. Let's continue. Okay, therefore, they are more and more investing in transparency. Okay, in transparency, exactly. But it is only the first step. If we really want to make a change, we need to reduce the production, the production of clothes, buy less, wear more, and stop throwing away. The problem with textile waste, exactly, is that there is very little technology at the moment to recycle clothing into the type of fiber that can be used for making new items of clothing. Some clothes are downcycled, but the majority of our unwanted clothes are shipped abroad where they're creating huge problems in developing countries. Okay, that's great. We can move on now. In the previous video, you watched Ursula de Castro, a co-founder and creative director of the Fashion Revolution, who said, I want my clothes to be made not just with quality, but I want to afford quality of life to the person that made my clothes. And how about you? How do you feel about it? How often do you think about the social, human and environmental cost of fast fashion? Are you concerned with the figures presented in these videos? How can we change people's mindsets so that they stop buying so many clothes? What can you do? And here is an assignment for you. Take your favorite piece of clothing and turn it inside out to see the label. Do research on the transparency of your favorite fashion brand. Find out about its ethical, economic, and environmental aspects. Who made your clothes? Where? How? Does the production of your clothes make an impact on the environment or, or on people's life? Have you changed your attitude towards your favorite brand? Is your wardrobe eco-friendly and happy? Or do you need to do, to do something about it? And then make a speech. Your speech should be one or two minutes long and you can use a digital, digital tool 
Vocaroo to record your speech. And here is a checklist to help you complete your task. Once you finish, go through this checklist and see if you have it all covered. Send your recorded speech to your teacher. Good luck! I hope you enjoyed watching this lesson and I really hope that you will have a happy and eco-friendly wardrobe. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the rest of the day.